Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom and thank you for being here to watch me put some hydro band liquid waterproofing over my perma base on the shower. So this shower remodel, if you haven't been following along, we've done a ton of video all the way from the demo to, to the framing, to the furring out of the walls, to the plumbing, to the foam pan, to the sheet membrane that I have down on the foam pan, the flow effects drain. What I'm trying to say is we have a ton of video footage. If you haven't been following along and wanna see those videos, I'm gonna put links down in the description below so you can follow along the progress here. I have a nice, beautiful, plumb flat walls with the Permabase cement board. I have used mesh tape in all of the seams and corners, transitions, uh, and I used Multimax light to embed this alkali resistant mesh tape, which is this stuff right here. And the Multimax light is awesome because it's almost like a mix between a thin set and, and drywall mud. So it's really easy to apply, it goes on really thin, doesn't have sand in it. Again, that's Laticrete Multimax light. I use it for putting in sheet membranes and I also use it for going over the mesh tape on cement board. So finishes up really nice. So let's get started with the hydro band. So the nice thing about doing liquid waterproofing is that most people can do it. You pretty much use the same principles as painting, except you can just be a little sloppier and get it up on the wall. I have used blue tape on the edges that I don't want the hydro band to go over on both sides, but that's pretty much the only areas that I need to block off because I don't need to go all the way to the ceiling with the liquid waterproofing, just up to the shower head. So what I have here is a 3 8 nap, nine inch roller. I have a little weenie roller right here for the tighter areas. And then I have a nice high quality purdy paintbrush here to get into the corners and anywhere else. So let's get started. So I'm just getting as much up onto the wall as possible to start with. Ooh, I already flung some on the ground. I gotta wipe that up. I just got a bunch gooped onto my roller here. I'm gonna go nice and slow so it doesn't fling and make a mess. And I'm just kind of pushing, pushing it. When I first get it up there, you'll notice I'm not really rolling it. I'm just kind of pushing it Just getting as much on my roller as I can. And I'm lapping down onto the sheet membrane. Also, just the two inch band coming up. A pole on the end of my roller probably would have been helpful, but I couldn't find one in the shop, so I'm doing it without an extension pole. Now this is, this is going to require two coats, but Hydroban, the reason I prefer it, well one of the reasons, because it is more expensive than Red Guard or Aqua Defense uh, is that you can apply it thicker. It's, it's not such a thin material. It's got more body to it. So don't be afraid to put, put a lot of material on there. See how my roller's not really spinning? It's just pushing extra material on there. That's a good way to get the correct amount of material on the wall. One of the major mistakes that people make with Red Guard is applying it too thin. 
because it's just it's just real water. You don't. It's almost like a thick latex paint, where the hydroban is much thicker. So yeah, I'm just gonna go up to about right here, just about the shower head height. That's plenty. I don't need to go up higher than that. You can if you want, but you don't need to. The big roller fits in the niche. That's nice. Now I'm going to use my brush for the corners. The nice thing about cement board too is that it's pretty porous and it'll dry your first coat out pretty fast. Thin set and cement board is a, is a nice surface to put liquid waterproofing on. So you might be wondering why am I not using sheet membrane on the walls? Well, sometimes we do, but sheet membrane is a lot more cumbersome. It you have to be somewhat decent at spreading thin set and getting the air bubbles out of the membrane. It's more work. Uh, I think it's worth it to do it on the shower pans themselves. That's why you see sheet membrane down on the pan and wrapping two inches up the wall and the curb. Those are very crucial areas. And I do trust sheet membrane more than I do liquid waterproofing. But the walls, since they don't have a ton of water on them, they're not submerged, they're, they hardly ever get wet. The roll-on waterproofing is sufficient. I also really like what I did with the detail around the Delta rough-in valve. Uh, the plaster guard here, the black plaster guard, I took mesh tape and Multimax light and went right up to the ABS plastic mud ring they call it and the hydro band sticks to ABS so I'll go ahead and give this a nice waterproofing as well. All right, the first coat is up. That went really fast. I mean, it seems like it was only about 15 minutes. Time flies when you're having fun, but that's what it seemed like. So we need to let this coat dry completely before we put another coat on it. That's another big mistake I see being made. Not waiting until that first coat is fully dry because if you don't, if you still have wet material and you put another layer over the wet material, it's like sealing it up like putting the lid back on a bucket and that bottom layer won't dry. When it gets wet or when vapor goes through it, it will bubble up and start to peel off. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna let this dry completely. How you know it's dry is when it turns the dark olive green color and you already see it already starting to dry in certain areas. So hopefully it only takes about an hour to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some tools while I'm waiting for that. So here's another tip. Uh, while I'm waiting for the coat to dry, I don't want that same coat to dry on my nice purdy brush here. So I just take some plastic. You can use like a, a grocery bag or plastic sheeting. I actually cut this off of one of my trash bags, just wrapped it with tape, sealed it up so that I don't have to rinse this out. I can just take it off. When the second coat's ready to go, my paintbrush is too. All right, it took, yeah, about an hour for this coat to dry in here. It's a pretty warm day. I had the windows open and the air scrubber going to get some circulation, cleaned up all my tools, gave me something to do while I let this dry. That is one thing about liquid membranes. There is wait time in between the coats, so you'll have to figure that in. 
but this is ready for the second coat, so let's get on it. Second coat is done. This looks beautiful, nice thick coat on here. You'll notice that as I did the second coat, I was laying it on pretty thick. Uh, I used the roller almost to push the material around. You don't want to expel all of the liquid membrane off of the roller because uh, it won't leave enough on there. I almost just sop it on there and then you kind of push it around and you just get a little roll. That's how you get those ripples in the hydro band. And it goes on really thick, nice thick coat. Again, in these videos, I make it look pretty easy. And if you need help on anything, go to tilecoach.com. Over there, you have a few options. You can either sign up for the team membership, which will give you access to our advice forum, where we have a bunch of community members on there, helping people like you get those questions answered and get you on the right track. The other option is, is you can sign up for individual coaching. I have 30, 60, and 90 minute sessions where we do Zoom or FaceTime calls, and I can see your project and go a little more in depth to really get you on the right track. So my hope is I save you some lost sleep and just give you the confidence that you need to get your tile shower done. Uh, we're ready to start setting tile. This is gonna dry over the weekend and we got some beautiful tile going up, so you don't want to miss those episodes. Make sure that you're subscribed and have your notifications on so that you see my weekly video uploads. And what I'll do is, again, all of the progress videos that I've made up to this point, I will be putting the links in the description below so you can see them. And last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.